Jung of Korea in blue. Two minutes left to go. Darker just uh, holding off Jung with that uh, right arm. Jung um, poised and ready to strike, but uh, it was Hidaka that came in right-sided first of all.
Jim still attacking uh, left-sided. Still no score yet. We've got half a minute to go. <laughs> she could do it all herself if she was out there. There's something uh, awkward about the, uh, the South Korean Jung. It's the uh, speed with which she attacks. And I don't mean, the, it's the frequency. And uh, how quickly, once she's got a grip, she just throws herself into it. It's really awkward because you just don't expect it. She's not um, in the best position for attacking, but still comes up with an attack. They'd already called Mate there before... Um, Hidaka went over with a bang. Two minutes and uh, 40 odd seconds left to go. No score yet between Hidaka and uh, Jung. Jung's look the most uh, likely to score of the pair, looking uh, to go left-sided, but uh, Hidaka's still dangerous, and there's two minutes, 28 seconds left to go. The referee calls Mate, stands the back up. We get back on the way again in this golden score period, this for a place in the, uh, the final. The winner will face uh, um, Anna Maria Valencek of uh, Slovenia, or... Uh, Han Li of China. There's another left-sided attack from um, Jung. It's not as strong, but she manages to put one in, and then she defends in uh, Nevaz and Hidaka. Doesn't go anywhere there. Japanese coach giving out her instructions. <laughs> Looks really frustrated. The fighter can't come up with the, uh, the winning score, but that's the way it is sometimes. Minute 50. And, uh, Jung going left-sided again. Looking a little bit busier. She's come up from uh, 70 kilos. I'm not sure how long ago she fought there. And then a Maki Komi attempt from Hidaka, but that just collapses and that doesn't go anywhere. The referee calls Mate again. There's a minute 40-odd left to go. Here comes uh, Jung again. Completely um, one-sided. Oh, that looked pretty poor from the Japanese. I think she'll get called uh, for a drop for that. Beginning to tire. Just see that happening now. Yeah. Just picks up the uh, the warning. A little bit in the wars. Maybe took a bit of a, a bump to the face there. A minute and a half left to go. And now Hidaka's got to be careful. She's already got the, uh, the one warning. Got to come up with something now. But uh, Jung it is who keeps going and again all left-sided dark has got that really nice tall leggy shape great uh, size for an under 78 kilo fighter a little bit like the uh the mongolian at the moment clumded for Evjagl and maybe yo abigail the hungarian they've got that kind of uh build and i'm sitting right next to uh lucia who was uh silver medalist at the Olympic Games in in Athens. She's got that tall, leggy build as well, but she's not going to um, join the conversation. Just there to uh, look at one of her teammates who's going to compete next. I think the uh, Japanese is going to go here. There's a, less than a minute to go. She's going to get called for another drop. I think they've see, seen enough. Chinese referee in the middle of Mongolian and then a French referee, a second drop, Hidaka, just not able to uh, stay upright. And it's uh, Chung Dawoon of uh, Korea who takes that contest. She goes into um, the final of the under 78 